Okay, I've got these two knock sensors that I bought off of eBay. This first one I bought, um, I thought would do the trick. Turns out it's a bad investment. Um, it's a Nissan something knock sensor, just a generic one. You can tell because there's no writing on the top. Um, after talking to Kurt, uh, I bought this Bosch one, and you can tell it's a Bosch because it, it has a part number right there. I'll post that in the in the video. It also says Bosch and made in Germany on the side. Um, but the biggest reason why you don't want this is um, if you look at the bottom, it's got this metal um, base, and that's how it picks up all the knock frequencies through the engine block. Um, it's also shorted to this, but I used my DMM, and you can check these pins, and uh, probing one of the pins, you can tell that it's grounded to the body of the, of the knock sensor. And you don't want that because the electrical signals from the block, which is chassis ground, will basically impede your ability to detect the knock since there's so much more noise on it. This Bosch sensor that I got is not shorted. I can put it on both pins. And neither pin is connected to the body of the, the sensor. So with this Bosch sensor, I'm going to have a much better, much cleaner signal since I can use sensor ground instead of chassis ground.